What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, we are going to give a quick Eagle McMahon update. He said in this new Cloudbreaker 3 teaser that he is rehabbing an injury. If you didn't know, Eagle McMahon did injure himself shooting this video with Jomez Pro. And it wasn't Jomez Pro's fault. Eagle was being silly. He did something that was unnatural and he did an Instagram post about it and sort of explained exactly what happened. Um, I did a video covering when Eagle injured himself, and it was nice to see that Eagle did give us a follow-up, and we can assume that it was a fairly serious injury because this was eight weeks ago, and I'm not sure when exactly they filmed this or they had Eagle on camera for this, but I'm assuming it's fairly recent, and Eagle said he's currently rehabbing an injury, so we know he's been hurt for at least eight weeks, and he's rehabbing the injury, so he probably... May partially separated his shoulder or did something fairly severe. So hopefully Eagle can get the proper weightlifting in, the proper rehabilitation in. Uh, we're going to watch this clip where he briefly talks about it. Uh, before we do that, we'll just look at the clip where Eagle hurt himself. He did like a 360 forehand with a backhand grip and he instantly was like, uh oh, I did something stupid. <laughs> And the thing I want to point out here is, uh, again, I'm no expert. I'm not certified in athletic training or physical therapy, and I'm not a doctor. But a lot of times when people dislocate their shoulders, they instantaneously grab the wrist. And that's what Eagle did. And that's what made me think he partially dislocated his shoulder. When people, I've seen it happen, I've been playing sports my entire life. I played baseball, I played lacrosse, I did swimming, I did a lot of different sports, played a lot of basketball. Um, when people dislocate their shoulders, they instantaneously grab the wrist. That is the knee jerk reaction for some reason to that injury, and that is exactly what Eagle did here. Um, so this kind of confirms that. I'm not sure exactly what the injury is. It probably wasn't like a muscle pull or a muscle strain or a muscle tear of any kind. It was probably a partially separated or partially subluxated um, shoulder. So we'll go over that real quick and we'll just watch the clip here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Currently, I'm rehabbing an injury with my shoulder, so I can't really do the cloud breaker justice. I am throwing soft shots, but with the cloud breaker, it's a max distance bomber. So instead, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you guys why the cloud breaker three is so important to my game. Um, now, Eagle threw one of the best shots of the year with the Cloudbreaker 3. We saw him throw it at the disc golf match play thing, and we'll see exactly what that shot looked like. It was definitely one of the most memorable shots I've ever thrown. Oh, if that holds the turn, it still needs to push forward enough. Look at this shot, Nate. And he has put a move on this. No way, it's coming out. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. Eagle McMahon with the shot of the year, parking hole number three. So that was Eagle parking a 700 foot hole with the Cloudbreaker 3. That tournament, I think, was the first look we saw at the Cloudbreaker 3. It's a mixture of, I think, C line and S line. Eagle specifically says that it has, it's made of the C line plastic, but they came out with a special blend. So it's probably more like an S, S line blend. And that C line is really durable. So I'm assuming this disc is gonna be just a nice durable S line style blend that's gonna be nice and grippy and a bit tacky and, and a little bit more flexible than the standard C line you would see from the new Disc Mania. I'm really excited to get my hands on the Cloudbreaker 3, but the point of this video is more to talk about Eagle McMahon's injury update and to say that he is still injured. Hopefully in the next couple months, he's able to fully recover for the Las Vegas challenge because I know that's one of Eagle's best events of the year. He tends to start off really hot at the beginning of the year. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section down below. You are in fact watching Iceberg TV. Make sure to leave a comment and take care.